Sergeant America coming at you. Boom. Good to see everybody once again. Uh, I was lucky that I have a uh, fellow coworker, good friend, who is uh, also big in the comics. Um, when I bought my Space Ghost, I mentioned that to him, and he mentioned to me he had the uh, 2005 uh, six-part run and sold it to me at a great price. He had also sold to me uh, Edrigan number one. Also known as the Demon, I uh, was very thankful for that. Uh, he's he's definitely been uh, treating me with more and more uh, Kirby um, wonderful stuff. I mean, uh, this is a great, great uh, reader copy. So, uh, and then, uh, like I said, I'm going to kick on to my Space Ghost uh, up on my stand. I had purchased a Space Ghost with Blip action figure, and... Uh, had been enjoying that. I want to display it a little bit more, so I got these to kind of help fill it out. Um, the series was written by Joe Kelly and uh, drawn by Ariel Ovletti. And, I mean, it's just, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful artwork. So I definitely would say if you could uh, find, the, find these pieces and you're a Space Ghost fan, the Hanna-Barbera, you know, I definitely bought it for the nostalgia, but I have to say that it ended up really being something that I enjoyed. Um, and Ariel, Ariel, to, uh, Ariel Obleta also does, as you can see, a little bit of Punisher, X-Men, um, uh, a little bit of DC work in there. There was some Dark Side Batman. I'm going to be searching out a lot more of her work. I mean, it was just amazing, and I, I, I'm really digging it. But as I said, Space Ghost number one. Try to make sure I get decent with the least amount of glare as possible. So Space Ghost number one. Number two, as a child, I loved watching the cartoon. Um, I was also big in the Herculoids, uh, so it was definitely one of those things that I enjoyed doing. Number three, uh, in this series, number four, um, we see Thaddeus, the guy who is Space Ghost, is a peacekeeper, and uh, he joins this certain group who, the, the Wraith, and they are the, like the hard line and they really get things done, but they kind of bend the rules, and it was bent too far for Thaddeus. Um, the Wraith knew that they this guy could t uh, turn on him, so they end up taking him. His wife was pregnant out on this uh, abandoned planet. They uh, kill his family and do so in such a gruesome way that uh, it destroys Thaddeus. Uh, this leads him to become Space Ghost, or some things I'm going to leave out just so that you can pick up the series and enjoy. Uh, number five. Um, and that's so it's, it takes about, I think, at the end of issue two is when we see, finally see Space Ghost in the, the outfit that we know him in. As you can see, Jan and Jace are also in the series. It was really nice how they introduced them. Um, Zorak is in here also. And it is just kind of funny how all this was done. I was really surprised um, how they handled everybody, how they got everybody uh, fit in there. I was expecting it to be a lot more corny than it was. So it was very appreciative when it ended up not being corny. So it was, I, I just loved it. You know, it definitely appealed to the, the child who sat there Saturday mornings eating sugar bomb cereal and, uh, you know, just, you know, jumping from couch to chair and, you know, uh, trying to be the space ghost, shooting my space rays. Um, it, you know, it was just a kick nostalgia that I really enjoyed. So I was very thankful for my friend to sell them to me uh, at, at such a great rate on those. Um, I think generally Space Ghost number one goes between about 10 bucks to about $16, $17 maybe. And then each, and then the others, I would say the three to four dollar range, maybe. So um, it was definitely ex excellent. Like I said, you know, reading the demon also um, was it was really great, really interesting to um, touch back on the Kirby. So uh, Space Ghost once again, six part series, two thousand five. 
uh, Joe Kelly, Aria Ovletti. Um, you know, if you can uh, pick up the series, if you like the Hanna Barbera, if you like Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Um, the story definitely was a lot darker, a lot rougher than what I was thinking it would be. Uh, he kills people. <laughs> so it was really great to, to reread this, uh, to enjoy it. And, you know, I, I'm thankful. There's a lot of things I miss because I'm late to the party. So I'm ever, ever, ever so thankful uh, when people clue me in on certain books or, you know, are able to get me certain books. So um, just as another kick in nostalgia in one of those, I think it was issue three or four, there was Trivial Pursuit. Uh, DVD Lord of the Rings edition. So if you happen to know um, who does Gollum describe, describe as always hungry, um, if you know which brave writer of Rohan boasts of fearing neither death nor pain, um, if you happen to know what color staff Gandalf carry after returning as Gandalf the White, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're nostalgic like me. What comics did you collect because you had to as a, um, that you saw from your childhood that somebody kicked out later uh, that you, you know, just had to have because it just touches a nostalgia point? May not be the greatest, but I have to say out of five, 4.5 if not a five, I mean, I you know, it continues to just, Amazed me how good this series was. I just devoured it in one night. So I don't want to keep this much longer. So I guess I better just catchphrase. <laughs>